Uh, obviously, I thought we did a lot of good things tonight, played well. I thought it was a reflection of our preparation. Uh, these guys are just such a special group. We took two days off after Friday's game, and they came back, and you could just look in their eyes and tell their care factor was high. They wanted to play, wanted to compete, were excited for the tournament, and really prepared well. I thought today was a reflection of how we practiced and how we prepared. thought our focus was good. Effort, attitudes were tremendous. And uh, today we went out and, you know, obviously played pretty well because of that. We talk a lot about preparation, trumping pressure, and it can be our separation. Uh, and I give the guys a lot of credit for the way that they prepared. Xavier, to come out there and score 31 points off that kind of poor performance against Penn State, what's that mean to you coming out here for the first game of the MAC tournament, coming out here? Scoring 31 and what's a ruthless back turn? Well, first of all, I didn't think he played poor in that one. I didn't think he shot as well as he normally does, but I'm sure, sure that's what you sure. what you meant. I thought he played pretty well. I just didn't make a couple. Uh, yeah, I think uh, we came out here. We uh, you know we always preach playing play, playing aggressive, um, attacking, and I think we did that tonight um, on both ends, and uh, we got to keep going. Enrique, you guys have gotten pretty comfortable here in Cleveland. Just talk about that factor in the first round game. You guys seem to, you know, play this, you know, stage pretty well. Um, I think, you know, going into going into this game, you know, it's a lot of preparation and playing three games in three days is very difficult. So I guess everyone on our team is really locked in and focused on playing one game at a time. This question is for either player. What was your team strategy to defend against Buffalo and to throw them off early and get them in foul trouble? Um, we know that Buffalo is a very good team, and we know that they rebound very well, and they push Shavar very well. Very well. Um, I think we just, did, uh, as a whole, the entire team did a good job in preparing for our, um, for them defensively, and I think we executed our defensive scheme very well. Enrique, in that first half, you had a great spin move on the baseline. I'm wondering, do you think last year you have been able to have the confidence to make this type of move, or is that just something with the evolution and the growth of your game? I think that's just with the growth of my game. Um, you know, I'm just getting, you know, I get more comfortable and my teammates push me to get a lot more comfortable. So it's just getting comfortable with the ball and, you know, making a move and scoring. Enrique, what in particular defensively did your team want to do to contain Buffalo? Uh, we do have to play him a couple times <laughs> next year. So we, you know, well, we you know, know we're we, not going to give you all the all the trade <laughs> secrets. He gave you transition defense and okay, rebounding. What more do you, What more do you want? Good. They're great in those, obviously, in those two areas. Um, we just did a good job rebounding. Good job um, guarding our yard, playing our defense, and you know, playing to our standards. For both players, is there an advantage of having to play a team twice in one week, despite the outcome? Uh, I would say no, no, no advantage. You know, the last game or the previous game, last year's game doesn't carry over. This is one game, um, and we got to take it seriously. Got to stay focused on, on our prep and preparation and things like that. And um, uh, we're gonna go out and try to win. You know. Did you even sense in the week matchup a week ago that that was the game that they were targeting? Of course, based off of last year, I know that has no factor into the game. Yeah. But now you get to play a rematch of the championship. Yeah. Game. I think, um, I think especially with this rivalry, it's a lot. It's very intense, and um, I think it's a great opportunity for us to play in. You know, I'm excited going into this game. I'm not thinking about previous games. I'm, I'm pumped. So I know every other guy is too. So that's what, where my mind is and our mind. Enrique, kind of to that, knowing your excited level for that, knowing who lied ahead. Just talk about how, how comfortable you guys are in your in sticking your game plan and executing tonight. You know, not not getting too ahead of yourselves. Uh, I was going to say, yeah, we're not that comfortable, you know. We like to be uncomfortable, so we're going to put ourselves in a situation to not feel comfortable and not feel like we own anything, or so we're going out and basically attacking. Any additional questions for us, Steve Matthews? Yeah, Enrique, the bench had energy all night long, but perhaps the most when Evan Wilson <laughs> came in and hit that three. Just talk about seeing one of your teammates go out there and make a shot like that. Guy, man. Yeah, like, yeah, I think he's shooting like 50%. He will uh, he's a good guy. Um, I think the entire team, and including myself, we get excited when guys who uh, who don't play often get in to play because you know those te those guys are important to us. You know, scout team and other other people who don't play as much, they don't get the shine, but they when they get in, it's their opportunity. And Evan hit the shot, so we're proud of him. And 
he does a good job. Pat does a good job. Uh, Ryan, Prince, everyone who doesn't play as much does a great job um, in practice, and we appreciate them as much as we appreciate the people who start the game. We'll go ahead and dismiss our student athletes then at this time. We'll continue Thank you guys. Thank you. Questions? John, what did your team do? I know you can't give away too much here, but yeah. what did your team do to get you be pull them into foul trouble early in the game? Um, you know, I thought we were just aggressive. We attacked, obviously. We established Freeman early. He only played nine minutes in the first half and had double figures. I thought, you know, obviously that was, you know, slowed us down a bit. Uh, but I thought we attacked. You know, I thought we were aggressive, like Reek just said. We attacked and took what was there and, you know, had the ability to play inside out, I thought was a big part of that as well. Thanks, Coach. We good? Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.